What's going on, y'all? It's Eat With Pastor Black One Week. This is what we have here today. I'm so sorry, y'all. I got tongue twisted and everything. I have my ramen. I got me some kimchi. How the heck did I find me some kimchi here in Czech Republic? But if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe, like, and share. I have all the descriptions. Go check out the description box. Everything's going to be in the description box. Also, the ingredients and the actual ingredients in this country as well. Now, we're about to go ahead and get the show on the road, and let's go ahead and do it. Amen. This is a new ramen. I never tried this before. It has like, um, I don't even know what's in it. <laughs> I know it has like some vegetables on there and some coals. Seasoning. But it's staying fire. So this country has like carrots. Mm. Which is really good. It's really so good. I love the taste of this. Mm. Now, you guys, you will get to see me twice a week now on the eating show. It will be on Mondays and Fridays. You guys stay tuned for that. So if you guys want to see more of my videos, it will be on Monday and Fridays. Like I said, oh man, this is so delicious. Man, I've been working my butt off watching film. Head of my eating show, my eating channel. Came to you guys. Yes, I am finally back. And I'm enjoying myself being back with you guys. So. Man. What do you want to talk about? Let's talk about it. People perception of you, of, of myself, period. Um, obviously, People are going to say whatever they want. You get what I'm saying? They're going to paint this narrative about you regardless. And it's so funny. I have a story for that. And it's back in the day when I was playing football in, in the United States. And I felt like I was the outcast. You get what I mean? Like. People see, oh man, he suck up, the way how he do certain things, or how he always on social media. People gonna paint any picture and say whatever they want until they actually really meet you and talk to you. You know what I mean? So what I do is verbatim because now I'm, I'm so much wiser and I, I had some time, so much time to myself and understand myself as a human being and being patient with myself being patient with myself and being vulnerable with my own feelings because that's hard to take in and why I say that because in reality your mind gonna go a thousand percent, a thousand miles per hour, even a thousand percent of 
going to the past, being in pre being present, things that's bothering you. Also, trying to deal with things that's going on at home, dealing with people having perception of you, trying to make them like you and everything else. Man, this is what I do. So what if they have this perception of you? You guys had a perception of me when I did the uh, the Nico Avocado video. <laughs> you know, that's what's so that's what's so funny about life itself. People don't understand that in life, they gonna paint you for who you want to be, the bad guy, the good guy, whatever you want in life. I get it. You don't like the video. Okay. You don't like the way how the video end up. You didn't like how I would keep on repeating the same thing over and over again. You didn't like how I might sound like a dimwit or, <clears throat> oh man, he just sound repetitive. He sound retarded. And I get that. You cannot knock me for trying something new. You cannot knock me if I want to do ASMR videos. You cannot knock me if I want to do something new. Because in life, you have to go through these failures and understand like, okay, this doesn't work. And or better yet, yes, it, it doesn't work. You never know if it stumbles to something great. In life, you got to do something out the box. You understand? Who cares what people think? You think I care about? Oh man. Why he's with her? Oh man, or why he why he do certain things like that don't don't that don't that don't don't phase me at all. You feel me? It it should not phase you. If you know who you are as a human being, and I care less what people think about me at the end of the day. That's why you guys watch me. I want you watching because every moment I'm gonna make you learn something from me. I'm gonna let you laugh if I'm doing something stupid, if I'm clowning my own self, or it's like, hey, you know, I man, I just shit myself. I could admit that. Can y'all admit that? That's something that you would have to fall back to your grave. See me, I'm I'm so out and open of everything because. We all human beings. This things happen for a reason, man. Even the embarrassing situations. So that's the reason why I love myself in all costs, man. Even when I mess up, I will admit that I'm wrong, and I have the willingness to actually learn and understand that it's a mistake that you can learn from and make you a better person. Bro. This is what a life this is what life is about. For real. Hold yourself accountable. Understand your mistakes. Capitalize from, from it and be better. Failure is not wrong. Who cares what people perceive you? Because they perceive me of anything they want to they perceive me. At the end of the day, in the core, once you get to know me as a person, as a man, 
You're going to be like, damn, I really like this guy. I can really open up to him. And he's not going to judge me because I'm not judgmental at all. I'm really cool and chill and laid back type of guy. And yo, I don't care if you a street walker, bum from the street, or homie that do whatever, drug in the, in the name of the book. As long as that's your past and you're this is who you are in the present, that you change your life for the good and you're making positivity in somebody like now, that's all that matters to me, man. Like, life is too short. I don't care about what you do in your life. As long as you make your money and you ain't hurting nobody, you ain't killing nobody, it had nothing to do with me, man. So remember that, guys, ladies and gents. Regardless of what anybody say about you or perceive you, shake that thing up. Be confident in yourself. You know you're the baddest one in the room. You're the, you're the strongest one in the room because your energy speaks for itself. There's a reason why people talk to you. There's a reason why people hate you for a reason and still want to talk to you and still want to be around you because they want to be you. You understand? So... Stand ten toes down, be yourself, and always stay true to yourself at the end of the day. And that's my lessons to you guys. Until next time, love.